Now, Wolbachia aedes mosquitoes have been released at five estates. They're infected with a bacteria that reduces the chances of transmitting the deadly dengue virus. And for more, we're joined by Professor Wei Eng Ong. He is Professor of Emerging Infectious Diseases at Duke NUS Medical School. Professor, give us your thoughts on what kind of success we're seeing with this Wolbachia project, because it has been going on for some time now. So the Wolbachia um, bacteria is an, uh, one that infects uh, mosquitoes naturally, but not Aedes aegypti. So what NEA has had to do was introduce this bacteria into Aedes aegypti uh, and then release only the males, right? Because Aedes aegypti is the one that transmits dengue in Singapore. And when the male infected, the infected male mosquitoes mate with the females, then the offspring will die. And, and therefore, that will help towards uh, reducing the overall mosquito population density in Singapore. And with that, then we hope that you know, dengue will be, become more controlled. But obviously, the... There are challenges. The flight range of the mosquito is very limited, so they have to release quite a lot to make it work. Uh, so this program will actually work best when the overall population density is also suppressed by all the other measures, such as keeping our you know, residential areas clean, free from uh, water containing uh, 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 receptacles and all that, right? So, so everything must go hand in hand. This is not a, a one size fit all solution. It's just part of an overall solution towards dengue control. Yeah, part of the many measures that we're uh, using to mitigate the sort of uh, rise in the number of, of Aedes uh, mosquitoes. Dengue, of course, is still rampant despite the program. Can we expect the number of dengue cases just to continue to climbing? And if so, why? <laughs> I think there are many factors involved. Uh, one is that the virus is uh, uh, a new uh, type, so Dengue 3. Uh, last time Dengue 3 caused an outbreak in Singapore was back in 1992, so we have not had a Dengue 3 outbreak for many years. Uh, and so one possibility, of course, is that um, the overall uh, population density, uh, overall immunity levels of Dengue 3 is low because we've not had an outbreak from this virus for a while. But on top of that, I think there are other factors that perhaps we're, we're not so, um, uh, food, we, that we don't fully understand just yet. Like, for instance, all the genetic changes that may be occurring in this virus that perhaps gives it a greater level of fitness in spreading uh, in the population. So there are probably a number of different factors involved beyond just the mosquito. And, and I think all of this would just have to... Uh, one, that we have to learn from it. And two, you know, I think our ability to control dengue will be much better once we have a, a good vaccine as well as good antiviral drugs to treat in, uh, the cases early. Professor, thank you very much for that. That was Professor Wee Eng Yong from the Duke NUS Medical School.